Hey everyone, Luke here from Bedford Camera and Video. And today I've got Dave from Canon and he's gonna be talking about a really cool new product called the Pro 300. So Dave, tell me a little bit about this uh, printer. The easiest way to think about it, like so if someone said, hey, explain this in one minute or less, if you're familiar with our Image ImageProGraph Pro series, specifically our Image ImageProGraph Pro 1000, that's our 17 inch wide Image ImageProGraph Pro printer, it's the little brother of it, right? It's the 13 inch version of that printer. That's the easiest way to explain it. Obviously there's more in that and, and we'll talk about it as we go through here, but that that's really the easiest way. It sounds unexciting, but it actually is really exciting to finally have the little brother to that printer for sure. No, that's awesome. So what, what makes, what are the biggest differences between the Pro 10 and the new Pro 300? Th this becomes, quite a, a lengthy conversation. So forgive me um, if I if I go a little bit long here, but it's important I think for, for everyone to know, right? So our Pixma Pro 10, and if you compare that, let's say to the Image Program Pro 1000, it was a night and day difference, right? It wasn't just a, a lot of people be like, oh, well the Pro 1000 does 17 and it has two more ink tanks. It's like, well, yeah, but it's got a screen, it supports borderless fine art printing, it, it does all these other things, better ink formulations, things like that. So what we noticed was happening was, let's say you came into you know, Bedford and you said, man, I love the Pro 1000, but I don't need to print that big. In the past, you'd have to step down, quite honestly, to the Pixma Pro 10. Not that it's a bad printer, but it's just simply not the same technology, right? You're making sacrifices to do that. And at the same time, maybe those people were, all right, I'll just get the Pro 1000, even though they weren't printing 70, 17 inches wide, or they didn't need the larger ink tanks and things like that. So the Image Program Pro 300 has all those same Image Program Pro differences you would see. In fact, it's an Image Program Pro DNA at its core, meaning it's got that three inch LCD screen, Pro 10 did not. It's using Lucia Pro inks, which is a better ink formulation, so better re uh, re color reproduction than the Pro 10. Vacuum paper feeding, so a 13 inch wide printer that finally can print borderless on fine art media. Support for panoramic paper sizes, right? Uh, support for our professional print and layout software. Support for our media configuration tool software. These are all the things the Pro 300 does that the Pro 10 did not. So it's a dramatic increase going up from the Pro 10 and the Pro 300. And by the way, it's actually smaller than the Pro 10 and lighter as well. Right, and, and you, Anybody that has ever even seen a Pro 1000 knows exactly what he's talking about in the sense of like, holy smokes, this is a, a printer that I need a desk for. But it, it's an incredible printer, it's just huge. So being so much smaller is a huge benefit for sure. So in that respect though, a, a Pro, a huge, a huge, um, now, in the differences between a Pro 1000 and a Pro 300, what are the main differences that you're going to find other than the fact that a Pro 300 has a 13 inch paper and a Pro 1000 has a 17 inch paper? So the main differences here are gonna be in the ink set. So while it uses the same ink formulation, meaning the, it's the same quality inks, we wanted to keep it a 10 ink system. Um, and that's just because to your point, right, People looking at a Pro 1000, oh, it's a huge printer, it needs its own deck, uh, needs its own desk, right? So think like, you know, wedding photographers, photo labs, things like that, schools. Uh, those were a lot of the people that were looking into Pro 1000s. Pro 300, however, though, is probably gonna be a lot of prosumer, amateur photographers, things like that we envision people seeing. So we didn't wanna inundate them with, you know, large 80 milliliter ink tanks, 12 ink systems, things like that. So we moved it down to a 10 ink system with smaller cartridges. These use the PFI-300 ink tanks. They're about the size you would see in the Pixma Pro 10, but again, different ink formulation and it's only 10. So the colors it doesn't have that our other Image Program Pro printers have is it doesn't have blue or photo gray. Uh, we've removed those ink tanks from here. You still have everything else. You have the Chroma Optimizer, you know, for your glossy prints. You have your uh, CMY, your Photo Sign, your Photo Magenta. You have your red, you have your gray, all those, right? What we've also done, though, is we've actually enhanced the matte black ink. 
oddly, the matte black in the Pro 300 is actually a better ink formulation than the Pro 1000 and up. So if you're printing on matte paper, fine art paper, our own uh, fine art smooth paper, or just any matte paper in general, the detail and the richness of the black tones you will get is amazing. You could kind, kind of see it. I have a photo there printed of me holding my son when he was born behind me. And that's a black and white print made on matte paper that I printed on the Pro 300. And I was honestly blown away. And, I, and I'm not one to use, you know, buzzwords and things like that. Like, oh, this is the greatest thing ever if I don't truly think it is. But it was honestly, I, I was like, wow. Like you just, I didn't expect it to be that rich. Anybody who's printed on matte paper, things like that. Often what I hear is, yeah, I don't really like printing on matte paper. Just, it doesn't look as rich or my colors look washed out or something. Right. And that's because matte paper in general has, you know, smaller color spaces, but the pro 300 with this matte black ink, man, I'm telling you, I, I was like, wow. You know, people with pro 1000s might be jealous, but uh, it, it really is a, a dramatic improvement. So if you're a fan of fine art paper, matte paper, you're going to love it. So with the Pro 300, what type of connectivities do you have with it? Can you still utilize, you know, wireless printing, connect it to your phone, USB, whatever else? What type of uh, connections does this printer offer? Yeah, for sure. So Ethernet uh, for starters. So if you're in a photo lab or if you have an Ether connection, you could use that if you want to print on a network. Uh, USB, um, which is what I always recommend people use. It's just going to be a more stable uh, connection for that. And of course, Wi-Fi built in, even AirPrint. So, you know, I, I can print to this thing via AirPrint. Um, I recommend using USB so that way you can take advantage of our professional print and layout software as well. But I know everybody has kind of their unique, you know, needs and things like that. And, and we support it all. In fact, you know, some of the, I don't want to say complaints, but, but some of the pain points maybe of our Pixma Pro 10 and our Pixma Pro 100 was, yeah, those were Wi-Fi, but because there was no screen, you know, you had the Wi-Fi button and then you had to go on your computer and connect it. And it just like wasn't really ideal. So my favorite part about having that screen is the setup process because uh, we could show you pictures on exactly how to, you know, put the print head in, put the ink in. But more importantly, connecting to a Wi-Fi network is really easy um, with that uh, LCD screen. It's not a touch screen, but it's an, it, you know, it's an LCD screen. So I could walk through, I could select my network, type my password in, good to go, no problems. Now, going back a little bit here, you had mentioned that it doesn't have as large of um, print inks in the the Pro 300 as the Pro 1000. So I know the Pro 1000 has 80 milliliter tanks on that. What size of tank are we getting on the Pro 300? They're about the size of the, um, I could find out right now. They're about the size of the Pro um the Pro 10, so like that's that 14 milliliter ink size, something like that. Um, I actually don't have that information with me, but it's around it's around that size. If you look at the ink cartridges, it's going to be around that you know 14 to 15 milliliter um, size. So again, it's not a bad thing because that allows the you know price point when you purchase those cartridges to to be lower, right? Um, so I wouldn't recommend this for someone that maybe is doing a ton of printing. If you're printing like a lot every day, you're going to want that Pro 1000 and above because it'll lower your cost per print and you won't be replacing your cartridges as much. But again, this is for like that prosumer, that amateur. I was out with my family up in, up in the mountains over the weekend, took a bunch of shots. If I want to print, you know, three or four of them to put on my walls, Pro 300 is going to be great, right, to do that. But if you're like a, a print shop or a print lab where you're printing a ton daily, you're probably going to look at the Pro 1000 and move forward from there. So that's kind of where one of the distinguishing points is between the two. So what are the actual photo sizes that you can print on the Pro 300? Yeah, so this is actually really exciting. So it's all the standard sizes you, you've come to see on our, you know, 13 inch wide printers, right? So 13 by 19, 4 by 6, 5 by 7, 8 by 10, letter size, all those, right? But one of the requests we got from a lot of people, what we noticed in, in, in some of the data was a lot of people are interested in panoramic printing right so specifically like landscapes and things like that they want to print panoramic now you've always been able to do this with all of our printers but we would have to do something called a user defined size or a custom paper size and that would force you to print a border which isn't always the worst thing i actually prefer printing with borders but some people wanted to be able to print borderlessly so we've done two things here the first thing is 
we've extended the user defined length all the way to 39 inches long. Now that's user defined. So if you go to 39 inches, you'll need to print with a border. So in other words, you could print like 10 by 39 if you wanted to, that custom size, right? But there are also paper manufacturers out there that sell cut sheet paper panoramic sizes. And that paper is normally like eight by 24. And we support that borderlessly, which is going to make a lot of people happy. So we have all those panoramic sizes that we could print borderlessly. In addition, um, I don't know if you've seen people do this. They'll, they'll do things where it's like three photos on their wall and, and they're all framed and they kind of make one photo. With professional print and layout, I could do stuff like that as well. Um, using that free software, I could kind of lay that stuff out and print it out, including like canvas wrap and stuff like that. I, I could all set all of that up and the Pro 300 is compatible with all of that. We've also added support for square paper sizes. So a popular one for our customers who are crafters would be a 12 by 12 paper size. We could print that borderlessly as well, uh, five by five borderlessly as well. Um, so we've added a lot more support for paper sizes um, and types and things like that. Um, speaking of paper types, we've also added a uh, Barita media type. So we know our media types, we have, you know, glossy, luster, things like that. But Barita is a paper type that's becoming more and more popular, but it's a unique paper type, right? It, it's got the texture and thickness of fine art media, but the sheen of like a luster. So in the past, what you had to do is choose like the closest thing. So luster, uh, platinum, things like that. And it worked and it did a great job, but now we actually added a Barita media type um, for those customers. So panoramic sizes and media type support, huge, huge movements in, in the upward positive direction here. That's awesome. So this, this printer will allow you to print on canvas, will allow you to print on fine art papers and a variety of different media types, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Metallics, I know, is a popular one. And we do a really good job supporting with our third party paper manufacturers. Um, so, you know, when you go to Bedford and, and you're looking at paper, of course, Canon papers are going to do great. Um, we've kind of quietly released our fine art rough paper in the background as well. Great kind of textured fine art paper. If you like our fine art smooth, but want something with a little bit of texture, fine art rough is, is your gem. But any of the other paper manufacturers you see at Bedford, right, will will support um, our printers. In fact, we generally ship these printers to the paper manufacturers so they can go ahead and get their ICC profiles and everything set. Um, so if if you have a, a you know a favorite brand uh, when you're in Bedford, go ahead pick up that paper. It'll print on the Pro 300, no problems. Uh, so what is the actual price point of this printer? Yep. So right now the MSRP for this is eight ninety nine ninety nine, um, which is really only when the Pro Ten came out. I think it was six ninety nine. So this printer is only two hundred dollars more MSRP than the Pro Ten, and you heard all of the things it does over the Pro Ten. So it's actually a really really great value, and we expect to see all of the um, you know mail and rebates and things like that that you've seen us do on our Pro printers. We expect that to uh, qualify for the Pro Three Hundred as well. So as far as maintenance with this printer, is there any ability to replace components if like a print head gets clogged or damaged in any way? Right. So we use thermal print heads, um, our type of technology we use with our fine print head technology. Um, so we don't expect to have clogging issues with most of our printers, right? In the off trans they do because it happens, right? If you don't print for a while or if you're in a dry area or like altitude things, things like that, it may, may clog. Now, two things happen if, if this is the case. The first thing is just like all of our Image Prograph Pro printers, there's a nozzle correction mechanism. Basically what that means is the printer will realize there's a nozzle clog during printing and essentially put another nozzle on backup duty for that print. So the good thing there is even if you have a nozzle clog and it happens during the printing, you're not going to waste paper and ink. Your print's still going to come out and be okay. And then you'll get kind of a notification saying, hey, perform a, a nozzle cleaning. Now with that three inch LCD screen, it's really easy to perform any maintenance. So um, if you need to do any head alignments, uh, nozzle cleaning, nozzle check patterns, things like that, all of that can be done uh, pretty quickly. You don't have to go into like the printer driver things. You do it straight from the screen. If on the very, very off chance that something is what we call irrecoverable, 
So there's just a, a nozzle in there that just cannot be recovered. We don't anticipate that happening. If it does, just like pretty much all of our printers, especially all of our pro printers, the printhead is user replaceable. In fact, the first thing you do when you open up the Pro 300 is install the printhead. And don't get scared about saying install the printhead. It's literally like if you could put an ink cartridge in, you could put the printhead in. You just pick it up and lock it in and you're good to go. And that screen will show you how to do all of that. So yeah, all of our print heads are user replaceable. Uh, we have the nozzle correction uh, mechanism and just the nature of our fine print heads and thermal uh, print head technology. We don't really anticipate clogging being much of an issue at all. So what's the availability of the Pro 300 as of right now? So the Pro 300 right now is expected to be in stores kind of early to mid-August. Um, obviously, with the state of the world right now, some of those things can be a little bit interesting, but we are anticipating it to be available for purchase in Bedford stores around kind of, you know, mid-August. All right, that's awesome. So, Dave, do you have any other final words on the Pro 300? Yeah, I do. And if you don't mind, I have some final words on just this product launch as a whole and Canon as a whole. So, I've been with Canon for only six years. I say that because a lot of my colleagues have been with Canon for decades, right? Um, but I've been with Canon for about six years and by far and away, this is the largest, most impactful product launch we've done. And one of the reasons we've been able to do this is we're unique in the sense as, as an imaging company, we of course make phenomenal, phenomenal cameras. So the EOS R5, the EOS R6, of course, everybody's, very excited about those as am I. Um, some of the new RF glass we put out, right? We are known for our glass, for our phenomenal lenses, uh, specifically our L series lens. Everybody knows they see that red ring, what that means. And that's why when you look at the Pro 1000, it's got a red line on it, right? Because we are unique in the sense that we also provide the output solution. We're not just a camera company, we consider ourselves an imaging company. And because we're an imaging company and because we make products like the Pro 300, all the way up to the EOS R5, we understand imaging as a whole, that it's a journey. Um, the other thing I do wanna point out too, for anybody that maybe hasn't thought about printing before in the past, two things I wanna leave you with. Number one, it's not really a photograph until it's printed. Before you print it, it's an image. Um, the second thing is, photography is an art form. Painting with light, they say, things like that, right? It's a, it's a whole art form. And photographers love control and doing your own printing and making your own print controls that final and arguably one of the most important levels of your art form, which is the print, because now you choose what media your image is on, which can dramatically change how your print looks. And if you don't believe me, print the same image on like a platinum or a luster paper and a canvas paper, a metallic paper and a, um, like a fine art smooth paper. It will look totally different and tell a totally different story depending on what you're printing on. In fact, I've had photographers say once they start printing, when the camera's in their hand and they're taking a picture, they're thinking about what paper it's going to go on. But more importantly, I'm excited that Bedford allowed me on here to talk to you guys. I always have a good time at Bedford. Um, you guys are just absolutely great. You're great to exist for the industry. I love Bedford. So uh, I, I urge everyone going to the store, shop online, whatever you got to do, talk to these guys. These guys are if you think I'm knowledgeable, sure, I work for Canon, but these guys, I mean, the knowledge they have, and the know-how they have, and the help they could give you to figure out what's right for you is phenomenal. So go out, talk to these guys. They'll help you through any other questions you might have. So thanks for having me, guys. I appreciate it. There you have it. That's the Canon Pro 300. So if you guys want to add this to your cart, go ahead and visit us online at bedfords.com or at your local Bedford camera and video. I'm Luke from Bedford Camera and Video, and this is Dave from Canon. We appreciate you guys for checking this out and we'll catch you next time.